Here's one thing, just one thing that has helped me over the past nine, ten months of me playing this game from going to bad to okay to decent. <laughs> okay? It's very simple. Very simple. Here we go. Learn your matchups. Learn the decks that other people are playing. Where to hand trap them. And you'll be better. <gasps> Mind blow. <gasps> Rocket science, right? Everybody's running infinite permanence and ash blossom and fin ring and ghost bell and ghost ogre and DD Quill. Everybody's running all these hand traps. And they're like, you, you're playing a match against someone. You're playing this game competitively. And you're playing against a top deck. You're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know what I, I had ash blossom. I didn't know what I didn't know what to ash. I didn't know what what impermanence. And you lost. It's so important to know where the ash, where the impermanence, against at least the top three decks, at least minimum the top three decks. Okay? So if you beat them, ooh, great. You beat them. Those, those were your worst matchups. Then you got all the rest of the decks to, to take care of. That's what I've been doing. When I'm at Locals, that's my testing ground, okay? I've never played this deck before. Let me. I have hand traps in my hand. I'm not going to use it. And I watch my opponent play. I'm like, okay, cool. Wow, you did all that stuff. Great, great. And I lose to them. I lose every week. I lose to them. I'm like, hey, I had Ash Blossom in my hand. I didn't know what, a, what card should I Ash in your deck that will stop you. This card? Great. Here comes Regionals and the YCS. And I'm like, I'm on my A game. I'm focused. I'm ready. And my opponent goes. I'm like, activate. Oh, Ash Blossom. Activate. Oh, inf Infinite Impermanence. Oh, activate. Okay, infinite impermanence, Nibiru. Okay, game. My turn. You done? You done? Oh, you done? <laughs> oh man, I've been winning so many games by just simplifying the game state by knowing where to ash block and where to hand trap my opponent. It's been working for me. And sometimes you might have ash block and you don't even want to ash block them at all. Inf Infernobles. Infernobles. When they were good. When they were great, you had Ash Blossom. And you would Ash Blossom that one card, but they would just keep going through it. Some decks are like that. Sometimes you don't even want to Ash Blossom because you're like, man. But if they open up a certain card, yes, if you play the deck enough to read them and say, you know what? Normally they don't summon that card. That must mean they have a bad hand. I'm going to Ash Blossom here. Oh, it's so important. The game and the skill of the game goes beyond just your deck and playing your deck. It, you have to know your opponent's deck. That's the point of this video. Don't be a bad player not knowing what your opponent deck does. Learn it. <coughs> Leave a comment. I'm a little bit sick. Thanks for watching your Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. And I end my turn. Make a good move.